In the capital of Estonia, a country that feels increasingly threatened by its next door neighbor, there's a private screening that offers a glimpse of life in Russia in the years leading up to the war. This film is called The Last Relic, and it follows a number of struggling opposition activists in the Russian city of Ekaterinburg. And it's having its world premiere at the Hot Dogs Film Festival at the end of April. I'm planning to soon to go to Canada. Mariana Cott started making the film in 2017. Over the years, she said the climate of fear became more pronounced. Half of her characters in this film have now fled Russia. Those that remain are being hounded by the security services. There is only very few people who really want to, to, to fight, you know, let's say. Uh, and uh, I understood that their attempts are in vain, you know, they will not succeed. Members of the grassroots opposition couldn't agree on a goal or a strategy. It was becoming more dangerous to protest. And in the background, Moscow's military machine was getting louder. In the audience, Nikolai Archimenko, who fled Russia last year. I feel, I feel uh, like an empty, empty, empty feeling in my um, uh, stomach. People in my country do not understand what's right and what's wrong. Terry McDonald, a Canadian professor with Tallinn University, says the film emphasized that it's all but impossible to protest in Russia. So many of, like, say, the students we encounter here, this regime has been in power since before they're born. You know, uh, there's literally, they've never known a way to make an impact in a fair and just society. Caught had hoped to be able to screen the film in Yekaterinburg too, but that's now impossible. But she hopes it did at least spark a conversation in Toronto. Briar Stewart, CBC News, London.